Hi, this is going to be a quick um, tutorial on how to download and install VMware 8 on your Linux, in this case Ubuntu machine. So the first thing you need to do is download VMware 8 from the VMware website. Now this tutorial is assuming that you have logged into VMware and paid for a valid license key. So you can download this from this website. Um, I'll try to put this link in the comments, but you can always pause the video and uh, copy it into your browser. But once you download it, you need to pay for a license key. I believe it's $110, $120. Um, once you download that, it's going to give you a zip file. And this zip file here, I saved it to my download link. It's about a 300 uh, 321 megabyte download. So we're going to extract this to a folder. And you can see that it comes with a, or it opens up to a dot .bundle file. I'm going to pause this one second. Okay, now that all the files are extracted and we have our dot .bundle file, we're going to go into our terminal, and we're going to move to the downloads folder, and you'll see the dot .bundle file in there. So what you're going to do is do sudo sh, and then you're going to do the full name of the file. And then you're going to hit enter, enter your password, and it's going to extract the installer. And it's going to open it up into the GUI based installer. So you click agree. Uh, you can check for product updates. Sure. You can leave all these uh, settings to default. And once that's finished, you're going to click install. And it's going to copy over the files. And while this is installing, I'm going to pause this again so it doesn't become a 20 minute video. Okay, now it appears to be close to being finished. Alright, so installation was successful. We're going to close this. And you should have a VMware workstation and VMware player, as well as a virtual network editor inside of your system tools menu. So if we open up VMware Workstation, it'll take a little while to open on the first run. Accept the terms of service, and now you have VMware Workstation. So it's also going to prompt you for updates. If there are new updates, uh, you can download and install those as well. In addition, you need to enter your license key before uh, you actually use this. So like I said in the beginning, you are going to need a license key for this. You can get that from VMware's uh, workstation website and enter that in here. So if you have any comments or run into any trouble installing this, it's pretty straightforward. But um, leave a comment and I'll try to help you out.